Hello, my name is Stella and in this lecture I will guide you through the process of controlling and reporting in marketing. Like in any other business, if we want to achieve something, we have to have plans. And there is no planning without control. Marketing control is the process of monitoring the proposed plans as they proceed and adjusting them where necessary. If the objective states where you want to be and the plan sets out a roadmap to your destination, then the control reveals whether you are on the right route or have you arrived at your destination. There are many approaches to controlling and reporting. You can control your market share, sales, budgets, customer feedback, cash flow statement, or performance of any promotional activity. In the complex world of controlling, there are four points that are crucial. You have to identify your customer's journey, focus on the right metrics, identify value of your best customers, and finally prove marketing impact. So first, identify your customer's journey. For example, imagine if you are shopping for a car. First, you search for a brand that you are most interested in. Let's say it's Volvo. Then you click on the first page that comes out, which is presumably a Volvo page. Then you go back to search and type a safest car. Maybe you will end up at the review site and learn that the safest car is BMW. Now you begin your new search on BMW cars. This is your journey, and if you refine your understanding of consumer's journey, consider the moments you want to capture at every step of the way. Think beyond the last click and focus on the right metrics, such as purchase, positive feedback, or newsletter subscription. When controlling, you have to measure, and when measuring, there are two things to consider, what and who to measure. In order to measure the right metrics, you should focus on the right business objectives. For example, if your marketing objective is to create brand awareness, you can use TV ads or use GRPs as KPIs and measure brand awareness by customers' panels or brand surveys. If your marketing objective is to generate online leads, you can use paid search or use numbers or leads as KPIs and measure conversions. If your marketing objective is to drive consumers to store, you can use mobile application ads or use in-store visits as KPIs and mobile app analytics as a measurement tool. And who to measure? Understand your customer's base. Who are they? Where do they come from? How long do they stay with you? How much they have spent over time? How much do they cost you? Look for segments of consumers who completed a high-value purchase or who purchased repeatedly, or who perform desired behaviors on your website, and determine which segments are not performing well. Once you have identified your best customers, identify which combination of marketing channels and keywords help you acquire your best customers, then double down on those. Now that you have the complete data, you can attribute value across the whole customer journey and measure what matters the most. Start by identifying the role and value of each touch point along the customer's journey. Use technologies like remarketing to straighten relationships and drive long-term value. Reduce waste by decreasing marketing spent on consumer segments that are not performing well. The final checkpoint is to prove marketing impact, meaning that you have to provide an answer to the question, if there was no marketing, would there be sales? You can prove the impact of marketing spends by observing current behavior and metrics, and you can also try testing different programs and see what happens. Try geomarketing testing. Use non-overlapping geographic regions and assign them to marketing treatment condition with the help of geo-targeted advertising. Reporting can be made for all the checkpoints of your customer's journey in marketing and sales aspect. Marketing report should illustrate the impact of its recent activities using a range of charts that include the numbers such as visits and leads by customer source. Marketing reports should indicate the performance of your online assets such as websites and landing pages, as well as conversions that lead to sales. 
Sales reporting should feature charts that show what's being done with the leads that marketing is generating. Sales chart should provide a visual of actual sales results. The chart should show the percentage of the goal that was reached and provide information on how long it takes your sales organization to convert the leads that marketing generated into customers. The goal of reporting is to show results and prove value. The most important metrics are the ones which are definable, measurable and related to your business goals. The more segmentation you do, the more actionable data and insights can be provided on a specific traffic. Remember, always compare to a previous time period in your reporting because numbers without comparison or percentage can mean nothing.